Hey y'all, it's Carrie Shepard here coming to you today with my 10 top tools for freedom-based entrepreneurs. You know, as a freedom-based entrepreneur running an online business, there are certain tools that are must-haves and then there are certain tools that just make our life and our job so much easier. So I wanna share both of those with you today. And it was so difficult for me to actually come up with just 10 of them because there are so many powerful tools. But what I did is yesterday, as I was going through my day, I just wrote down the different tools that I use throughout the day and kind of started to think about what were the must have ones that I really couldn't run my business without. And these are obviously not your laptop, your computer, your um, iPhone, any of that kind of stuff. These are gonna be more of your online uh, tools. So number one is Google. Google everything. So that is a Gmail account and I recommend using Boomerang with Gmail. It's a free service and basically what it does is when you send an email to somebody you can have it um, send it back to you like in two days if they don't reply. It's also great for pre-scheduling emails. So you know if you want to reply to somebody but you don't want it to go right away, you can kind of set it for like an hour or two later. And then of course you have your Google Plus, your Google Hangouts, so just everything Google, and all of that is free, which is amazing. The next one is Lead Pages. Lead Pages is not free. Um, I think it's about $50 a month, but it is amazing for creating really professional, streamlined um, opt-in pages. These can be used for your free opt-ins, for calls, free calls that you're doing. You can even create sales pages on Lead Pages. So I recommend this for all my clients, but especially when you're first starting out and even before you get a website, this is a tool I recommend. So next, after you get this lead page, you're going to need some place to connect it to. And so you need to have an email marketing system. So that can be something like Aweber or MailChimp. Those are the two that I recommend out recommend for somebody that's just starting. Infusionsoft and Entreport are some of the other ones when you're growing into your business, but those can be a couple hundred dollars a month, where MailChimp and Aweber are only probably between like 10 and $20. So after that, you've got your, um, you've got your email marketing or your um, email marketing system set up. Now you need a way to collect money. So I recommend PayPal. PayPal. Uh, it's great for collecting money. It's also great for paying bills because you can keep the money in PayPal and just pay bills straight from there. Um, you can also attach a square reader to your iPhone or to your Android so you can take credit cards uh, that way as well. So PayPal is uh, number four tool. Number five is getting a website. I, I definitely recommend having a website um, and I recommend using WordPress as your site. You can you know, get a pre-designed theme for pretty inexpensively, you know, get your site name on something like Namecheap.com or GoDaddy or Bluehost, something like that. So definitely having a website. Number six is Skype. Again, a great free tool. This allows you to be able to connect with your prospects, your clients, joint venture partners, and just friends and family all around the world for free. And you can use video or not use video. That's up to you. Number seven. This is a massive one. It's called 17 Hats and I am loving this. And you can get this tool for around $20 a month. And let me just tell you all the things that it does. It time tracks. It's bookkeeping. You can do quotes on there. You can um, create forms. You can schedule your calendar, which also um, syncs to uh, Google. Um, you can do invoicing through 17 Hats. You can develop contracts and you can also sync your email through that. And again, it syncs with Gmail so that any email you have with either a prospect or a client, it all, it um, categorizes them under their name. It is an amazing, amazing tool. And um, it, you can also do, like I said, project management and, um, you know, timekeeping in there. So really amazing tool. Number eight is Evernote. Evernote is awesome for note taking. And the great part about Evernote is that it syncs across all your devices. So on your phone, on your computer, um, on your iPad, etc. And 
The great part about Evernote is you can actually put things into notebooks so you can actually categorize your notes. So, you know, if you're out and about and a blog post uh, idea comes to you or a call information, you can even write out the call in there. Um, grocery list, you can do personal business, everything in there. So, and it's free. Again, great tool, Evernote. The next one is Dropbox, and the basic plan on Dropbox is free. Um, I've upgraded, I think it's about $10 a month. And this is a great place to store large files, videos, pictures, things like that. I have it actually synced on my iPhone, so all my phones are, pardon me, all my photos are automatically updated to Dropbox. So if I ever was, knock on wood, to lose my phone or break my phone, I would have all my photos backed up on Dropbox. And last but not least, um, this is a new tool that I just started using, but it is making my life so much easier. And it is called LastPass. And basically what this is, the last password you will ever need to know. It basically memorizes all your passwords and you know, stores them. And so you only have to know one password. And this is also great for sharing with your support team. So as you bring on virtual assistants and you know, online business managers and your tech team and your website people, you only have to give them this one password and it's very easy to change when you have turnover or again, if you have somebody just working on a project for a short term, you can give them that password and then change it after they're done. So makes it super, super easy. So these are my top 10 tools that I am using in my business and that I recommend that you implement straight away. But I would love to hear from you. What is your favorite online business tool? So please, leave a comment below, let me know you were here. And if you found this useful and you have a friend that is also an online entrepreneur and you think that they would find value in this video, I would absolutely love it if you would share it with them. And come on over to Carrie Shepherd and join our tribe of other freedom-seeking entrepreneurs that are creating and building online businesses. So until next time, have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye for now.